All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how we mix the Jacks new the hydroponic nutrients. It's the Jacks 51226. And basically basically we're going to make a concentrate, a 500 gallon concentrate. So then we could add it to our reservoir as we need it. Okay, this is the 51226. We're going to make a 500 gallon concentrate, which means we're going to add 65 ounces of Jacks and 20 ounces of Epsom salt in one bucket. And then we're going to add our calcium nitrate. We're going to add 43 ounces to another bucket. All right. What I do is I go ahead and I pre-weigh all this. We got the jack, 65 ounces. The magnesium sulfate, Epsom salts, 20 ounces. We got a five gallon bucket, three quarter full of my rainwater I harvested. And what we're gonna do is cut it open. Stir it up. We're gonna mix it up pretty thoroughly. Set for a second. Okay, you notice I also have another pouch here of the calcium nitrate, 43 ounces. That we're going to put in a separate bucket. Now you might see this here. What I like to do is I like to mix up in a five gallon bucket. Of course, I got to add more to it. Then when I'm done, I have these buckets here with a spigot on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into here. So when I go ahead and have to add nutrients to my reservoir, I have these neat little cups here. I don't know if you've ever seen these before, but these are the ones that they basically have at the hospital. If you ever visit the hospital, these little measuring cups, they work great. And then basically, I have this sitting on a shelf next to my reservoir. I guess go ahead and just fill accordingly. Now, you always want to have this mixed thoroughly before you dispense it. So what I have here, these pumps are like 10 bucks. I just basically take this pump, cut a notch out in the bucket, and I just throw it in here. So before I have to add any nutrients to my to my reservoir, I just plug these in for a couple minutes. It thoroughly just mixes it around. You don't have to add any tubes or anything like that. It'll just spit out and it'll just agitate and mix it up. So you're not always opening this up or using a drill to mix it.
pretty good. Alright, now we're going to mix up our second bucket, so we have an, basically an A and B bucket. Now we're going to go ahead and add the calcium nitrate, nitrogen. For a 500 gallon concentrate, we're going to use 43 ounces. In my other bag here, measured out, vacuum sealed, 43 ounces. Same as we did before, we're going to mix it up. Always clean your paddle with fresh water, anything. You don't want to cross-contaminate it. bucket we have. We're going to spout in the bottom. I like to use totally two different buckets. As you notice, uh, this one's N. Uh, this other one here, J for Jacks. This also has a notch that we're going to drop a pump into. Now, this is how I go about mixing it. Of course, I got to top this off. These two will be sitting on my shelf next to my reservoir. mix up about 55 gallons at a time for my tomatoes and all that that I have in beta buckets. Also, I have a NFT system for my basil and lettuce. This here is a trunjan stick. This is which tests my EC or total dissolved solids. Now, with this formula for my tomatoes, I like to do about a 2.4, which is about 1,200 parts per million so what I do with that is like I said I turn those pumps on that I have in there and then I go ahead and fill these I have two cups I put them exactly the same level and then I will pour it into my reservoir and I will mix my reservoir I will test my EC or TDS until I get to my desired amount. For lettuces, I like to go to a 1.6. I 
or an 800 on this scale. For the tomatoes, like I said, I like to go like a 2.4, 1200. Now, after you have, you might have to do this a few times. I probably, for 55 gallons, I usually have to put like three of these cups in at like 30, I guess 30 ounces each. I keep doing a little at a time, equal parts. Pour one in, let it mix up, then pour the other one in, let it mix up. Never pour them in together or on top of each other because that's why we have these in separate buckets. You mix these up immediately with each other, you'll cause lock up, the nutrients will fall to the bottom of the reservoir. After we have it to our desired TDS or EC, however you like to measure it, then we go ahead and we set our pH. For the tomatoes and all, 6.5, um, 6.2 to 6.5. For my lettuces, I like to do it like a 5.5 EC, I mean uh, pH. What I do to make it easy when I have to apply my pH, I got these little bottles here from Walmart, like little ketchup bottles. I have a pH up and a pH, pH down. Just an easy way to squirt them in when doing it. I hope this explains a little bit to you how you mix up your nutrients. Like I said, I do it in a heavy concentrate. And so I can just add it to my reservoir as needed. Hope this helps you out.